hopefully someday the Vikings will be able to hang that Super Bowl banner on the inside there. That's certainly the hope for fans and players alike, including number 82. Yeah, that's right. Kyle Rudolph, he's a tight end, of course, with the Vikings, is this is his sixth NFL season. But, Ali, this story for fans, you're getting to see a different side of the football star. We certainly are. For this interview, we stepped away from the field, although we did talk a little X's and O's briefly. Kyle and his wife, Jordan, gave us a unique glimpse into their private life. For this interview, we ditched the helmets for hats. This boat ride couldn't have come on a more perfect Minnesota morning. As you will see, the Rudolphs have been calling Minnesota home for a while, and that's what makes them Minnesotans to meet times two. Most summer days after his workout, this is where you will find Vikings tight end Kyle Rudolph and his wife Jordan. We come over in Rizana Bay a lot. Like we'll bring our families over here and just anchor and float around, especially during the week. Rudolph made Minnesota home right away his rookie year. We spend 10 plus months here and um, this is definitely home. You know, we still go back to our homes, uh, respectively, in you know Michigan and Ohio. But uh, I would definitely consider ourselves Minnesotans. This is home. The couple met at the University of Notre Dame when they were sophomores. Kyle, a star on the football squad, Jordan, a cheerleader for the Irish, and a communications graduate of neighboring St. Mary's in South Bend, Indiana. We met right before that. Right before that, <laughs> in the end of January. Yeah. At a party at his house. Oh, okay. yeah, we, we like to entertain. <laughs> Jordan grew up in a lake not far from Notre Dame's campus in Michigan. I remember the first time I went out on the lake at the summer I moved up here. I was like, okay, I can do this because it, it felt just like being home in Michigan. I think that's the biggest thing. You have obviously the Midwest way of life and the mentality, but then you also have like the North mentality. Kyle, who grew up in Cincinnati, Ohio, says he's embraced the winter months. Like winters here are still very active and like people embrace the winter and do winter activities to whereas where we're from, like it's just cold. This winter will certainly be a busy one for the Rudolphs, not just because of the new U.S. Bank Stadium, but the newlyweds family is expanding. Twofold. We were so shocked. So I think the first thing that came out of my mouth was how? <laughs> because we don't have twins on either side of our families. The couple made the announcement fittingly at first pitch during a twins game. It's the first grandkids on both sides of the family. So it's, it's. We'll definitely going have to... a full slate of yeah. guests. The Rudolph twins aren't expected to arrive until after opening kickoff. But now it's gotten strong enough to the point where Kyle actually just felt them for the first time last night. While they have a few more months to enjoy days without diapers, we couldn't leave the boat without asking at least one football question. As Coach Zimmer was talking to us this past week, and he was like, look, the new stadium is awesome, but you know everything goes back to winning and losing with him. And he's like, it's not awesome if you don't win. Like, you know, we have to win games in it. I think that'll probably be one of the best atmospheres a lot of guys have ever played in in their career. And of course, with twins on the way, Kyle and Jordan said they have been busy preparing, and that includes, of course, getting the nursery ready. So do you think Kyle will have any trouble lugging around these two? <laughs> I don't think so. They said they've been shopping at one spot the Mowers and Parisi's also shopped at. When they found out they were having twins, sure. Kyle said he told the owners, as you heard maybe in the tease, we'll have whatever the Mowers and Parisis are having. And Jordan actually, when she moved here, she started working at Baby Grand in Hopkins. Mm. So that's where they've been doing a lot of the shopping, and that's where the Mowers and Parisis also had shopped. That is not where the Brickman shop. No. <laughs> no. I, I love the idea that there's like an elite baby <laughs> boutique that all the professional <laughs> athletes go to. Kind of fun. Wow. And the fact that she used to work there for a little bit, I think that, that for her, it's just yeah. It, she has that connection. They yeah. probably give her the employee discount, you know, yeah, as yeah. a former. Of They're benching pennies. So nice. Well, so Kyle's pennies. gonna keep benching, you yeah. know, with the babies. And these are the first think? grandbabies on each side, like. <laughs> Their nursery is going to be just fine. They're yeah. going to be spoiled little babies. Grandmas will take yep. care of you there. <laughs>